What's up, y'all? It's time for an epic showdown. Why did you come up with that on the spot? No, I just said that because we have epics here and we're doing a, a showdown. Show them the bike. I'm trying. This camera is really hard to use. Chase has like a gimbal that we don't know how to use. Technology is really hard. We have two epic frames, Evo frames, that we've torn down and we're going to build them up. But also there's a competition. So yeah, I have a green one and Chase has a purple one. Mine's prettier. We're going to build his and hers epic Evos and then we're going to hold a vote. We're going to do a YouTube poll and we'll link it below. So vote for which bike you think is cooler. Depending on which bike wins either mine or Chase's, the loser has to do a bike packing race basically. Yeah. <laughs> If I lose, I have to do the 400 mile Ozark gravel doom. That's, I've done so, that. That's not the easiest thing to do. I have never ridden longer than like 110 miles. So that means Chase will actually have to train. Yeah. Yeah. I actually have to ride a bike. For Jesse, this one was challenging to pick. I said that if he loses and I win, I can get a puppy. He we can't his, make a video about that. He put his foot down that because he's like, no one wants to watch, like, there's no biking YouTube video. And I said, well, what a bet. I can make one. We have to be able so, to make a video. <laughs> anyway, needless to say, he's not letting me get a puppy. Comment below if Jesse should let me get a puppy. But, so we picked a race and I chose the Colorado Trail Race for Jesse to do in July of 2025 if I win and he loses because my bike's cooler. Yeah, it's like 600 miles. It's like 600 miles, 50-ish thousand feet of climbing, and it goes from Denver to Durango. Obviously, we're gonna build the bikes coming up in a, just a second, but basically just vote on which one you like the aesthetics of better because they're like the, the, they're same, the bike. same bike. Yeah, we want, they're the very similar, and we just were like, we picked out all the little, like, smaller details. It's really not that different at all. They're basically the exact same bike, but, Whoever loses is gonna have to do some really crazy. I'm either gonna race. have to ride 400 miles or Jesse's gonna have to ride 500 miles. It's six. 600 miles with 50,000 feet of climbing. <laughs> How many feet of climbing is Doom? Uh, 50. Okay, so they're pretty even, roughly ish. Even, yeah. This is just like a couple hundred more miles. One uh, thing that I've already done is we stripped both bikes down. This one, I also have installed a RockShox Deluxe Ultimate on. So yours started out as the Evo Comp, correct? The base model, which came with a uh, Fox entry-level suspension. I wanted the green one, so I got the green one. Luckily, the green one was the cheap boy. This is a Pike Ultimate. You haven't seen this before. Normally we build S-Works Epics, but on the e Evo frame, or like, I guess this is just the 11R frame, is the same in the headset. The cover is different. It just doesn't have the holes in it. And then there's room for the cables here. There's four ports. We're only gonna be using, I think, one today on mine. And then I have this kind of interesting Reval stem. It's got the big diameter. It fits like a 35. Handlebars are always kind of like, I think in a weird place. Like nobody really makes like that many stem options for them that are also long. This is a size medium bike. The weird thing about these 130 fork Evo builds is that the reach is actually shorter than it would be on the race bike. So there's a 10 millimeter reach difference between that and this. I am actually gonna be running a wider handlebar. So this is cut to like 780. This is a cool, like the Roval control bar. So I'm hoping that having this be not negative, but slightly wider works out whenever it comes down to fit. Also, this is more of like a fun bike. So as long as it fits to like a reasonable amount, like it should be good to go for me. This bar is kind of annoying. There's really not a good marking on if you have it centered or not. So I just needed to grab that tape measure really quick, but it looks like I did it pretty well. And we'll just get that in place. I'm going for kind of like a calming, like uh, forest vibe with my bike. Earthy boy. It's very earthy. Hopefully you guys like my earth tone vibe. We're gonna be using the Schwabble Wicked Wheels on this bike. I think this is the best tire if you're like 
into XC racing normally, but you want to have like longer travel bike, but you also don't want it to feel super slow. This is my favorite tire. We've been selling tons of these. You can grab a set at the bicyclestation.com right now, or you should be able to as long as we haven't sold out of them. We're also going to be putting those on Chase's bike in a bit. What do you think about the vibe so far? I think it looks like every single one of your bike. Look it over here. Let me go down the line. Oh look, a green and blue bike. Oh look, a green bike. Tan walls. This is earthy boy. <laughs> this is even this is the earthiest bike I've ever built though. Okay. I've been seeking this out. Like this is like the pinnacle of earth tone bike building here. These are very similar bike builds. It's very much a, a his and hers project. We've never filmed a his and hers project, but we've done lots of them. So um Jesse loves to match. Yeah, we do match. I just wanted everybody to get a full glimpse of the vibe before we start to work on chases here. How does that make you feel? Like you're in a relaxing forest situation? I mean, no. No. But it could. This is the Epic Evo Expert build. A lot of this is the stock build right now. So it Which was intentional. With the uh, Fox 34 Performance Perf Elite. <laughs> yeah, the good stuff. So this is already um, like the premium yeah, stuff. Like the reason I'm not changing this, first of all, because I feel like every build that we do on this channel is Rock Shocks. Well, you've always been a really big Fox person. I have always liked Fox. Yeah. Um, I think they make awesome stuff. I just like, I couldn't bring myself to change it with like the matching decals. Well, the wheel. And like the wheels. Too. Yeah, like I'll get to the wheels in a moment, but like yeah. it came with the stock wheels and like. Ev like everything just matches so well. Originally, like my hot pink fork, I'm always searching for a bike that this fork will work on. Like I'm determined. It never works. It is a hot pink fork with we'll holographic logos. Yeah, I'll grab it in a moment. And Chase um, has like a titanium crank like, to go with it and also like a Cane Creek shock and. Oh, it's gorgeous, but it's so loud. It like, it, yeah, we put it on this bike and it, it looked terrible. It was like a vomit inducing it, situation. It was absolutely terrible. It's just so loud. Like eventually this bike or this fork will find a bike that will be perfect. It'll all be great. For now you have a, I saw this, though. the new Fox 34 with the Grip X damper. Yeah, got You'll the matching shock and then. Um, we're going to get a Fox transfer to match this, but we didn't really want to wait to do this build and it's the same color. So just imagine that that will become a Fox Performance Elite transfer. Yeah, I'm actually really disappointed with the dropper situation right now because Fox just came out with like an electronic dropper and we were like, oh cool, this is going to be an awesome opportunity to try it. Looked it up and it literally only comes in Kashima. And I can't bring myself to have a Kashima dropper and not have the shock and fork be Kashima because you know, it's if you match. did that, you would be doing the 400 mile doom. Guaranteed. It would look, yeah, it looked bad. Yeah. So going to go with, um, just the Fox transfer, which I actually miss. That's my favorite dropper of all time. Are you talking about the SL or the performance or the, nor the normal one? Normal. Yeah. It's my favorite dropper of all time. And like, We've been putting the Rock Shocks dropper on all my bikes, and which is fine. It's fine. I can't complain. I shouldn't complain, but I'm so excited to have a Fox dropper again. This bike came with a set of Roval control wheels, but what's kind of fun is it came with some i9 hubs. The one, the one ones or whatever they call them, like the more oh they're the more budget friendly the ones, but they're still really nice. As I like embarrass myself not being able to get a wheel in. You are on camera. I know. That's why I'm like. Shit. <laughs> but that's also why I went ahead and did the yeah. i9 i9 stem to match because it kind of goes with the hubs and then the rest like gonna be a little bit of a mix of like wolf wolf tooth as well so you have the stem cap and we'll throw on some other wolf tooth tidbits. This bike came stock with GX but we are upgrading it all to transmission. Big transmission. Wait, it came with a game with GX transmission. Oh, we're both doing the XX <laughs> transmission, the trail. This is like the tr the trail, like. These bikes are just the same. No, that's what the point Except of this video is. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's purple and prettier and cooler because I have wolf tooth. This is an aesthetic battle more than anything else. Both these bikes are cool, but you have to decide which one you think is cooler. Or you could just vote for whoever you think it'd be funnier to have to do some crazy thing because that will yeah. be a video. It's going to be me dying. Chase. I would die. It took you, what, like four days and some change? It took me three that? days, but okay. I could do it, I think, in two days realistically. I don't even know what to guess because I don't like ride a bike right now. Yeah, so maybe like <laughs> maybe like five days. Yeah, I think 
I'm gonna go with five days. That's like a 70 something mile average a day. Cause I feel yeah. like the first day you would break a hundred for sure. Yeah, like first, I would definitely go heavy on the first day, break a hundred. And then after that, like, I feel like I'd start to like settle in a little bit. Yeah. And then the last like day and a half would just be pure survival. So if you want to see Chase vlog that, definitely don't vote for this bike. These are anodized titanium valves. They are like a blue to purpley fade. Shout out to Kyle. Kyle, our friend, gave us those. Yeah, they were on um, his old Top Fuel, I think. Yeah, when he traded um, it in, he said we could have them. So we're going to use them on this bike. Yeah, so I'm mine now. Thanks, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this not moving? I don't know. Oh, God, I'm just weak. You're going to have to do so much training to do 400 miles. Well, good thing I'm not going to have to. Well, I would put the rear wheel in the bike, but I can't because Jesse's bike is in the way. Just move it. Just like a... Just move it. Yeah, I don't think there's another bike that we would do this with, though. Not for a while. Maybe, like, new, whenever Allied comes out with that new... New Able, potentially. Yeah, because like, I, I, think I, that has, I think we both want one of those. That has the biggest potential to be, like, the next next build. But we're officially in the same place. I don't have a fun, like, vibe story like Jesse does with his, like... Yeah, you don't have, like, a vision board. With his, like, like woodland creature. What vibe. was your inspiration for this? I was on the Specialized B2B, and I just saw this color, and I just loved it. I got so excited. <laughs> and then I decided in that second that I'm selling the top fuel and getting this instead. We both have been wanting to have more casual bikes, but also we don't want long travel bikes. Yeah, like I feel like this is a bike that it's gonna work really well for just our local trails, for just like you know going out having fun, but also we're going to Pisgah in like two weeks for the Pisgah 111. Well, we go to Pisgah like five to 10 times a year. We used to, we've been like, this is only gonna be our second time there this year. We're like really slacking on the Pisgah trips, but this is gonna be a bike that like we will be able to like still have fun in Pisgah with while still being able to ride it locally. Because I think the like previous issue with our like other Pisgo bikes is like we weren't making it there enough and they weren't fun to ride here. I think my bar looks sick. Deity. So this is a deity bar that I have from my Fuely X build that I did a while ago. This is just like one of the remaining parts from it. And I thought it would look cool on this bike. Jesse, why are you getting an Evo? Everybody made fun of me in the Stump Jumper 15 video in the comments, like I predicted in that video. And I was so embarrassed that <laughs> I decided to never build a long travel bike again. Very unwelcome. So you just got bullied out of I was bike. bullied out of long travel bikes. This is why we don't bully people, guys. <laughs> Just Everyone made fun of my stem, <laughs> so I got self-conscious. I, I thought that bike was so cool, but I just don't ride it, and somebody already bought it, so that kind of gave us the opportunity to do this. Chase, also, one thing I don't think you mentioned, and we haven't decided if this is like a video or not, the top feel. Yeah, I think the wheel size, so from the top fuel build like first ride impression video that we did i genuinely really liked that bike what mentally i think is holding me back from keeping it is the 27.5 wheels like we don't have tires for that size we don't have like wheels for that size like i just don't have any parts for a 27.5 and i don't want to start buying 27.5 tires when like that's the only bike I would ever use them on. Also, this is going to be way lighter than that bike. Yeah. <laughs> it also was like a little bit heavy and I have absolutely loved my other Epic with flight attendant. Kind of made more sense to like, if I already like knew I absolutely loved that bike, like just go ahead and get this one rolling. Yeah, exactly. Everybody made fun of me for having a stump jumper and you know what? I'm already kind of like the guy on the internet who talks about specialized Epics all the time. So why not just do that? Yeah, like it's like a Stay tried and true. Stay in your lane. Never try, to, never try to get out of your comfort zone, y'all. You'll get made fun of on the internet like I did. <laughs> well, on my bike, we just got the crank and chain ring um, on. So for now, I'm going to use this like chain guard that just came on it. But Jesse out here looking out for me. So I ordered a 36 tooth chain ring for this bike, but it's not in the mail yet. And I also ordered guards 36 tooth chain ring you can uh, basically when you up your chain ring size with the bash guards you also need to buy new bash cards which kind of sucks chase will end up getting bash guards too because i'll give her these 32 tooth bash guards whenever my 36 tooth chain ring comes in so just yeah. imagine that it will look like that which is super yeah, so cool. eventually like next week yeah i think it's just next week before we go to pisgah 111 you need the bash guards i guess we do the brakes 
Might as well. I can't remember if this just goes all the way through or not, or if we'll need to do something. Feels like it's not. Yeah, it's I just, think there's a problem. Yeah. Sounded like there's a problem. Dang it. Oh boy. So what you do is you pull the bottom of the frame off. Oh, that's not bad. I thought it was going to be like a whole like bottom bracket maneuver type no. ordeal. No, specialized thought about this. Yeah, I'd say that's, that's some thinking right there. Getting this off is always hard though. Well, yeah, it shouldn't be easy. Well, it's bolted on. Dang. There we go. Jesse, even if you lose, are you still going to do the Colorado Trail Race? Because I feel like if, <laughs> if, depending on what your answer is right now, I might have to change it. What are you going to change it to? The whole point of this thing, like, Jesse was like, oh, well, we have to find something that we would each, like, not really enjoy and, like, wouldn't do otherwise, but it has to make a good video. So, like, I was, like, looking at races in states that, like, Jesse just doesn't like. I was looking at, like, I found a couple in, like, Texas and Florida. Sorry if you live there. And I just said that Jesse doesn't like those states. Texas is, I... I feel like we just didn't have a good experience. Well, we went to, I think that was because of the race. I also had yeah, food like, poisoning. <laughs> te Texas, like, I feel like I could vibe with. I, I like Oklahoma. You're right. Oklahoma yeah, is Oklahoma's cool. cool. The reason we didn't have a great trip in Texas is because of USAC. Well, and I had food poisoning. Yeah, USA Cycling just wasn't, I don't, well, I don't know if this is still true, but like, we went to Marathon Nationals in Palo Duro Canyon, and that was a beautiful place to go. But the event was just so bad. Yeah, it was a little, little bit of a mess. And like, nothing was wrong with the event, like the race and stuff, but like, USAC races are just, again, it's been a while since I've done one. That was actually the last one I did. Oh no, we went to Winter Park the year after that. Yeah. But man, I don't understand how, what did you do? I just tightened Over, it. over tightened that one. <laughs> Says the king of over tightening. Wow. So yeah, Paladuro Canyon, definitely a cool place to ride bikes, but, but yeah, so I found a bad race event in Texas for you. I found another one in Florida in February, which I'm just really confused by that one. And then um, getting a little mo bit more wild, I found a fat bike race in Minnesota in the snow. And then if we're getting super wild, you could do the, like, I did a rod. Like, they have, like, a bike race in Alaska in the snow. And then I found another race just going across Alaska. So that sounded cool. But then I, like, th started thinking about the logistics there. I think it has to be logistically possible. And actually, I still think high country is the easiest to do. I saw high country. I don't think we mentioned that one. That was, like... I think that's the number two. Colorado Trail race is number one. Sometimes this is a little bit of a hard... What I like to do is just kind of help it along. There we go. But this bike is so much prettier than yours. Mine is rustic. God, what is it with you and rustic things lately? We just moved and Jesse's like buying all of these things that have like rustic in the title like in the description of the product mm -hmm. you're like wearing your car heart you're just like a rustic man is that rustic i don't know you're wearing like the bougie car hearts so no mine's got like campfire vibes yours is like going to the makeup store in keystone what's that place called are you talking about sephora yeah that's the vibe I'm getting from this. That's fine, I love going there. It's very much like ghost Pokemon vibe. Okay, so you went from like girly girl shopping at Sephora. I think it's both. To like ghost Pokemon. Yeah. Okay, I, just I love the dress up I don't feel like it's portion. got a very good thesis statement though. Well, we tried the hot pink fork. It was hideous. <laughs> I have a, like I have a clearly written out thesis of my design aesthetic and you're floundering it's gonna lean into like the basic fall vibe but it really it, it, it is too yeah add a pumpkin spice latte and i'm set this is bothering me did you tighten the stem what is going on here who knows man if you guys have ever ordered anything from us chase definitely shipped it out and i'm sorry if there was a problem associated with that <laughs> don't hate me <laughs> i feel like all in all if i'm going with fall vibes you're going for campfire vibes they still just go together so well we're like a fall campfire or our bikes are look at that i don't know why this is like this but it was like all gummed up rad i just ordered my dropper i am gonna hook your tempo exfusion mabob <laughs> up here yeah what even is this exfusion 
I bet this works fine. You're just building my whole bike. That's that actually fun. feels like that doesn't feel bad. I'm excited to like take this outside in the sun and look at it. Campfire bike time. Got my codes, same brakes we just put on Chase's bike. <laughs> One thing we, so like I'm doing rock shock suspension. I really want to upgrade this bike to trail flight attendant. Currently you can get a pike that is flight attendant aftermarket, but you cannot get a deluxe. So I could in theory put a Sid Lux like my XC bike um, and then do the Pike flight attendant. I kind of want to just wait to do it all at once whenever they come out with the actual like deluxe flight attendant, which I am pretty sure will happen at some point. I don't actually know, but that's kind of my strategy with this. I'm also using the zip high tops. I, I still am a big fan of those wheels, even though I don't use them like every day. They're a lot more comfortable and I thought it was a really good fit for a bike like this where it's still like I wanted like a fast bike but definitely not the main goal. I don't know if this is the best way to open the door Chase. I made it. <laughs> oh, you didn't hold the door for me. <laughs> oh my god the sign. <laughs> you should have held the door for me. I'm bouncing. Is it working? Oh God, I almost hit my truck. <laughs> yeah, it bikes, squishes. I don't know if anybody's ever noticed this. Usually we start filming videos and then we get really busy and then we just stop filming and then the bikes just magically get done, right? Yeah, we were filming and then Jesse had to go help a customer yesterday. And then while I was waiting on him, I was like, oh, Dane, gotta go get the toddler. Yeah. And so then I just never came back. And then magic, <laughs> the bikes are just both ready to go. It's great. We're gonna do a weigh-in of the I complete do? bikes in the sun. Well, real quick. I, I do want to say, I was talking some crap yesterday about this dropper and it's actually not bad. Oh, I can't keep holding those my arms are shaking. I'm on my tiptoes. Stop shaking. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that, that didn't work. Do I need to weigh both the bikes? Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm crying. <laughs> Got my strong husband here. Do you think Justin mine's Smith. lighter than yours or do you think yours is lighter? Yeah, because you sabotage all my bikes. <laughs> yeah, and even when they're identical builds, like mine is heavier. So I small bikes are heavy, y'all. It's 26. It's like 26 and a half. Okay. That's what I'm going to say. What do you think mine weighs? Probably like 24 and a half because you sabotage me and put like just full jugs of sealant in my tires. No. My S-Works weighs 24 and a half. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I'm embarrassed that I couldn't hold the scale. <laughs> you make it look so easy. Oh, you have got to be <laughs> kidding me. Yeah, it's 25. Reweigh mine right now. No, it's it literally on the ground. I want to rematch, reweigh mine. But mine's like a full size. Like, you know, it's smaller, less material. Why, why? Someone explain this to me. I'm Maybe raging. Maybe the fork's heavier. So the main point of this video, I think, was kind of to show what's possible with these new Epic 8 frames. We've highlighted a bunch of the race bikes so far and same frame, but like totally different vibe and yeah, I definitely... think it's cool to like be able to take a frame that is clearly a shop favorite that we all love to race on and then be able to make like more of a fun casual bike with it. I think it's awesome. Definitely let us know if you guys are interested in any kind of epic. We have tons of epics in stock, like a lot. We have tons of XC stuff in stock. Got the Wicked Wheels in stock. Whatever you're looking for, send us an email. Check out our website. And also make sure you vote on which bike you like the aesthetic of better. Because again, we basically built the same bike, but mine is the calming forest vibe and Chase made the ghost Pokemon vibe is what I'm gonna call it. That works. <laughs> I think it does. I'll I think just it's roll very with it like, at this point. It's like it's like very I'm the ghost Pokemon gym leader. That would be like the gym leader's bike. I'm not that far into the game yet. You never made it to the the Sabrina's gym in Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, did you? No, I'm stuck. You're stuck. I'm stuck in like some shrubs right now okay. actually. We'll fix that. <laughs> anyway, remember to vote and we'll see you on the next one.